Yeah. So as a hard gainer, do we really need to count macros? Is it really necessary? Huh? That is the question. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jalan with Hard Gainer Fitness. I recently went from 129 pounds to 160 pounds and I learned a lot along the way. And here on this channel, I give you all the tips and tricks that you need to make the gains. Crush the scale and ultimately accomplish all of your fitness goals, right? So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any important information. And make sure you stick right until the end of this video, I'll give you a power tip in the number one way that you need to... No? The number one thing that you need to do to make sure that you hit all of your macros, all right? So stay tuned. All right, so the answer is very simple, guys. Yes, absolutely yes. You need to count your macros. It's really important. I'll even give you a couple of reasons as to why you need to, right? Plus the power tip at the end of the video. The number one reason why we really need to count macros, even though we can eat whatever we want to eat and not have to worry about getting fat, right? Because of our high metabolism, is because we'll know exactly how much food we need to eat every day, every meal. This is really important because as hard gainers, it's already hard enough for us to eat enough food and to pack on the weight, right? So when you know exactly how much you need to eat and what you need to eat, it really helps you to put things into perspective. Because oftentimes we'll eat and we feel like we get enough food throughout the day, but we're just not putting on the pounds, right? But then when we crunch the numbers and we take a look at what's on that plate and how much we need to eat every meal, every day, not even close, right? All right, guys, so the number two reason is because it gives us a goal, especially when you're trying to put on weight with a high metabolism and a low appetite, right? It's not an easy task. Um, it's really difficult, actually. So we need to be able to be motivated to have something to strive towards. Having a goal every day uh, really helps us uh, to stay motivated, to stay in tune, stay focused, and put on the gains. Reason number three is because you don't have to do it all the time. And let me explain what I mean. When you first start counting macros, you'll typically have about probably two to three, maybe even four uh, days of meals that you can alternate between. And as you eat those meals, or as you go throughout those days to eat those meals, you'll be able to actually start to eyeball uh, what your macros are. You'll be able to know how much rice in that piece of Tupperware that you always use equals how many carbs you need. When you start by counting the macros, you build a proper foundation to actually build off of, and it serves you in the long run. So initially, it can be a little bit of a hassle, you know, crunching all the numbers, getting everything together. But after a while, you, don't, you actually don't have to continue to count the, the macros because you can just eyeball it but you still be able to get the same benefits of, you know, having a goal and knowing how much food you need to eat, knowing what's working for you and knowing what's not working for you. Because ultimately, uh, if you're counting your macros, you may get to the end of the week and say, hey, well, I didn't gain a pound this week, uh, so I need to up my macros by one to 200 calories, right? But if you're not counting macros, then guess what? You're not gonna know how much you need to um, add to your meals. You're not gonna know um, what's working and what's not working, right? So make sure you count those macros, put in the work that you need to put in initially, build a proper foundation, especially in the beginning stages, and uh, make those gains, man. All right, guys, so the power tip, right? What's the power tip to make sure that you always hit your macros? What's the number one thing that you need to do to make sure you're hitting them, boys? All right, number one thing is preparation. Yes, preparation. Make sure you meal prepping. Make sure you know, if you're not gonna meal prep, make sure you know what you're gonna cook the next day beforehand. Make sure you already went to the grocery store and got the food. Make sure you seasoned it. I mean, I'm telling you, if you prep the day before or two days before, three days before, whatever the case may be, it's gonna help you out. Because as you start to eat and you start to implement these meal plans and you eat more and more and more and more, you get more and more tired. You're full all the time. You're drinking more water. I mean, I'm telling you, if you are prepared, it'll help you 
tenfold. I promise you it. Listen to me, if you don't prepare, when that day comes, like the following day, and you thought you knew what you were gonna eat, but you weren't really prepared, I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna go grab some Wendy's, or you're gonna get a bag of chips. And there's nothing wrong with eating Wendy's, right? But I'm saying, you're gonna eat Wendy's and you're only gonna eat Wendy's. Why? Because you didn't go to the grocery store and get anything the day before, or you're gonna go to Taco Bell or wherever you go. But I'm telling you, I promise you, if you're not prepared, you're not gonna meet your caloric goal for that day. At least not in the long run. You may initially because you're all motivated and whatnot. You know how we do with the New Year's resolution goals and whatnot, right? We all motivated at first and then later on up down the line, what happened? You end up going back to the old ways, right? So I'm telling you, be prepared. It'll help you in the long run, I promise you. Have the meal plans ready, have them prepped, or already have your food cooked. Or if you're not gonna uh, meal prep, make sure you know what you're gonna cook the next day you already went grocery shopping. Stay prepared, be prepared, and I promise you, it'll help you out in the long run. All right guys, question of the day. Do you have more success with counting your macros or just eyeballing your food and just eating whatever? What works best for you? Comment down below, let me and the Heart Gainer Fitness community know what your thoughts are on the topic. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it, smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. I got plenty more coming. Um, as always, I'm Jalan with Hard Gainer Fitness, where we're all about helping you put on the gains, crush the scale, and ultimately, your fitness goals as well. And you already know what time it is. It's game time. Let's get it.